Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this quick and short video, I'm going to answer a question that was posted on a previous video. Somebody asked, um, they don't use uh, robots per se, but they're thinking of uh, doing a robot that can manage their trailing stop because they, uh, their strategies are manual strategies but they get bored by managing what the trailing stops and the stops and stuff and they just want to automate that part of their strategy so in this video we're going to i'm going to show you how to easily create a robot to manage your trailing stops and you don't need to know any coding to do that or any programming to do that you just need to do what I'm going to show you on this uh, in this video I'm going to try and make these things as simple as possible you know how I do it if you've been following me on this channel I try to keep everything as simple so that even a grade one child can do this I don't go into the complicated uh, uh, systems and complicated values and constants and all those things variables and stuff I don't try to confuse you like the video uh, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed if you're also looking for a good reliable broker that you can use uh, to trade uh, using these robots uh, that we make on this on this channel see the links in the description box below so how do we create a forex robot to manage our trailing stop easy to do the first thing that you want to do is you want to be on the on tick section that's where you want to create the robot uh, on now uh, this thing works whether you are in doing metatrader 4 or metatrader 5 with the fx streamer you can see i'm using the free version i'm using the free version of uh, fx streamer uh, which is uh, available for metatrader 4 uh, so that's why i've got mq4 dot ex4 uh, options there because it's for metatrader 4 but it kind of works the same way for metatrader 5 as well so where do we start where do we start the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to this section here in your builder that says more so if you're going to click on there you are going to see a lot of uh, blocks here the block that we're interested in is this first one that says pass what does it do if i click on this yellow orange uh, question mark there it's going to tell us that's the beauty about uh, this thing it tells you if you don't understand what uh, something does just click on that uh, orange uh, question mark thing and it will tell you what the block does so what does the pass block do this block does nothing inside that's very important it does nothing inside it just executes the next blocks or block connected to it that's all that it does because why are we interested in this block because remember our trailing stop robot is not going to be based on any conditions like uh, moving average crossover or anything it's just a robot to trail our stop loss that's all that it's going to to do so we we need to use this block which does nothing except to just execute uh the block or blocks that are connected to it i hope uh, i've tried to simplify it uh, as uh, with my simple english as much as i can so we use the pass block when we don't have any prior conditions for the robot to do something we just use the pass block and then we give it the instructions what to do that's basically what it does so what you do is then you drag the pass block and you put it there you don't need to go in there to do anything just uh, leave it and after that you're going to come back to this section here where it says trailing stop break even and as you can see there are several blocks here that you can also experiment with these things guys you can also experiment with these uh, tools so this because this robot is about trailing stop i'm just going to take this uh, block that says a trailing uh, stop each trader 
you can also use the same idea with the break even maybe you just want a robot that does break even every time you are um, doing your trades uh, you you keep the robot there and it just places your your trades by break even so what we do again is we just connect uh, our blocks like that then I'm going to double click in here double click in there and we're going to just uh, uh, fix some things so the first thing is I'm going to copy here where it says group mode I'm going to choose so you can choose uh, a particular group of trades that you want uh, the robot to manage or you can say only manage manually opened uh, trades maybe you are running a robot on the side of your man ma manual trading maybe you can just say I hey, manage my uh, only the manual opened uh, trades ignore the ones that have been opened by a robot or you can say all so it's going to manage all the trades that have been managed by that have been opened by a robot or that you have manually opened so it just manages all the trades and what it says a symbol you can specify a symbol or you can say any symbol I'll just I use any symbol so that uh, you just use any symbol then uh, what are you going to be managing uh, you can either manage buys or you manage only the sales I'll say either buys or sells so that it manages uh, both uh, trades uh, whether I'm buying or whether I'm selling it just manages everything then here we are what are we trailing we are going to be trailing the stop loss so you just keep it like that and these gray boxes if you tick them uh, you can be able to choose options in your meta trader without coming back to FX streamer if you want but if you want to come back to FX streamer you can just uncheck these small boxes on the side so here we are we are trailing the stop loss then reference price for the stop loss the reference price for the stop loss there are some options ask a price for the buys bid uh, price for the sales or do you want to use the bid price for the buys and the ask price for the sales you experiment with uh, what is uh, good for you uh, depending on the strategies that you are using and the instrument that you are trading if it's an um, instrument that moves uh, a lot probably you can use the, uh, this option but if it's an um, instrument that doesn't really move that much maybe you can keep it to uh, this option here so or you can use uh, the middle price uh, depends on what you want to do guys the thing is also experiment with these things I'm not going to be able to give you each and every little bit of thing about this platform some of these things I'm going to show you the direction that you need to take and you are also going to what to just experiment by yourself and find the thing that works for you okay then trailing stop is what we're going to use pips there are some other options that you can use here we are going to use pips uh, let's say I don't know let's just uh, keep the trailing stop at 30 pips and trailing step uh, what is the trailing step basically the trailing step is by uh, so if you again you click on the the question mark it's going to tell you uh, what uh, the thing is and the trailing step is and stuff like that but basically the trailing step is by how much the trailing stop uh, trailing stop will be moving so uh, each time uh, we are moving maybe positive our direction uh, by f uh, five pips we are going to what to move uh, the trading stop by 30 uh, pips and there are also uh, other options here where do you want the stop loss to start uh, trailing where do you want the stop loss to start a trailing so uh, some people maybe the uh, from the off, off onset or whatever you choose whatever uh, is good for you so the stop loss is when it's off it's going to be um, modified immediately so the moment you enter a trade is going to activate this uh, robot the for the trailing stop so you choose what you want uh, there are some other options here experiment and find what works best for you I'm just going to keep it at that opposite mode um, I think this is for when things go against you uh, experiment with that uh, 
I will keep it at no change for now and level color it, if you want to play with this uh, it's fine if you want to change the colors but uh, that's mostly uh, what you just need to do in this section and you click update then what are you going to do you are going to come here and you are going to say EA stop loss and you're going to say done and you're going to take your mq4 file by just clicking here you're going to download your mq4 file or you can download the .ex4 executable file and that's it that will that's all that you need to do to what to create a stop loss uh, a trailing stop loss robot my english there uh, uh but you you get the point so yeah uh everything else guys uh, see uh, the links in the description box below uh also uh, see videos on this channel sometimes i don't answer people in uh, because people are asking for the things that are already on the channel uh, people are just lazy just go through the channel you find things that you are looking for guys uh, i will see you in the next video bye